So, guessing by the fact that you clicked this video, you probably have your eye on someone and are now wondering about whether or not you should take things to the next level with them. Lucky you, congratulations on getting this far with your crush. Before you rush into dating and all the commitment that comes with it, it'd be good to get to know them on a deeper level first, don't you think? Because relationship therapist Lily Zenner says, how can we love someone we don't know? To love your partner is to truly know them. Psychology can help us find out how compatible we are. With that said, here are six things you should know about someone before committing to a relationship with them. Number one, they love differently than you. Love language, a term coined in 1992 by relationship therapist, Dr. Gary Chapman in his book, The Five Love Languages, The Secret to Love That Lasts. It refers to all the different ways we express and receive love from one another. This can be either through physical touch, words of affirmation, gifts, acts of service, or quality time. According to dating coach, Lori Salkin, people do not need to speak the same love language to succeed as couples. Rather, they need to understand the love language their significant other speaks. That is not easy. It requires understanding the person and how they're different from you. So knowing your crush's love language is an important part of making sure they feel loved and appreciated because what feels loving to you might not necessarily feel loving to them. Two, if your values align, Another important thing you should know before taking the next step with your crush is if your values align with theirs. And sure, it might not seem so important at first when you're still in the honeymoon phase of your relationship, but trust us, it matters. In an article for Psychology Today, Dr. Kristen Fuller recommends having a direct conversation with your potential partner about their core values as early as possible. Therapist Katie Kreimer describes core values as those same fundamental beliefs that might make one feel safe, comfortable, passionate, and connected to their partner and within the relationship, such as honesty, accountability, finances, or even the topic of kids. Because sharing the same values as your partner means that you want the same things and that you're guided by the same principles. It also allows you to connect with them on a deeper level and have an easier time understanding their point of view. This doesn't always mean a relationship is doomed. In fact, it can be the beginning of a discussion and exploration of each other's values and a way to build curiosity about the other, Kramer says. Three how their past shows up in the present. According to Dr. Nicole Lepera, founder of The Holistic Psychologist, romantic relationships activate our attachment wounds. So if your crush has any unresolved trauma from their past, such as abandonment by a parent or suffering from emotional neglect, it's important for you to learn about it so you can better understand the ways it might affect your relationship moving forward. For example, an article from Psych Central reviewed by clinical psychologist, Dr. Lori Lawrence, recommends that if your crush has an avoidant attachment style, they'll respond more positively to you being patient and respecting their need for time and space rather than trying to crowd them more. Four, their relationship patterns. Similar to our earlier point, it might do you some good to take a look at your crush's relationship patterns before seriously committing to them first. Do they have a history of cheating or moving on too fast? What are the reasons why their past relationships didn't work out? And what lessons have they learned from it? While you should definitely be careful not to seem too nosy when asking about all of this, life coach Chelsea Lee Trescott still recommends knowing your crush's relationship patterns because it allows you to get to know them more deeply and helps you two work together to avoid making the same mistakes. Five, their relationship with self. Pay attention to how your crush deals with failure or rejection. Are they hard on themselves or do they show themselves compassion? Do they blame others or are they able to handle it constructively? Do they bounce back after a setback or just give it up altogether. All of this matters because according to Dr. LaPera, their relationship with themselves will mirror their relationship with their partners. So the telltale sign of a supportive significant other is their ability to forgive themselves. As the saying goes, you can't pour from an empty cup. Openness to improvement. But in an article for the Economic Times, author and professor of psychology, Gary W. Lewandowski Jr. states that people tend to value partners who help them become a better version of themselves. He also asserts that couples who grow together more have better relationships as characterized by more physical affection, greater sexual desire, less conflict, and greater relationship satisfaction. Because when a relationship doesn't help us grow or make us more open to improvement, it can be easy to feel like we're stuck in a rut and that it's not doing us any good being with this person. Hence, Dr. LaPera recommends assessing first if your crush is able to listen well, take feedback constructively, and openly communicate rather than simply avoiding their problems or deflecting, denying their mistakes. To summarize, 
Having strong feelings for your crush doesn't necessarily guarantee that you two will be compatible for one another and that dating them will be all smooth sailing. Asking them questions related to these six things we've talked about here can go a long way in helping you to understand one another on a deeper level. So, do you think you really know your crush well enough to start dating them? Or is there still more you need to find out first? <laughs>